Good morning. It's 7.30 and I keep waking up. And I have been for the past hour. But, so I don't know if I'm going to get up or just like stay on my phone for a while. But, good morning. Hello again. Um, I went on my phone <laughs> and fucked around for a little bit and it's 8.07. And I decided that now I'm just going to get up. So I'm going to do my oil pulling for 15 to 20 minutes, make my bed, get dressed, and I'll probably see you in the bathroom or something. This is me making my bed. Wow. This is me washing a spoon. Wow. All right. Continuing our morning, I put my hair up because it just feels nice to have it on my face. Uh, it's also It was also colder inside this morning than I thought it was going to be, so I put my little garb on. I brushed my teeth, I washed my face, I put my contacts on, thus no glasses. I did my coconut oil pulling, washed my spoon, all that fun jazz. Um, I'm really bad at keeping this stable. Uh, I don't, have, I left all my makeup in my dorm when I escaped here for quarantine. <laughs> so I don't have any like makeup to put on at all, even if I wanted to. So y'all are going to see all the red spots, all the dark circles, all the good stuff, but I don't, I don't care. And that's kind of all that matters. So even though I don't look my best right now, neither does the world. So, you know, that's, that's where I'm at. So my laptop didn't charge all night, even though it was plugged in. So we're going to go get my charger and find a different place to do yoga than I usually do where I can be next to an outlet. So I don't have a yoga mat here as of right now. So I've just been kind of doing my yoga in this space on the floor. Um, and it's very hard tile. So once in a while for my knees and stuff, I'll put like a random carpet down because I've been finding these random yoga mat sized carpets all over the place. I usually have my laptop there and I'll like do my yoga thing here but there's no outlet there and my laptop is dead. So we're gonna have to find somewhere else to do yoga this morning. All right, the space is a little, little bit tighter than my other little space over there, but you see how slippery this mat is today? This is a new one that I found. <laughs> more about to do some yoga. Yoga time, she's doing yoga. Oh my God, I'm still doing yoga. Yoga is complete. I'm feeling a lot warmer than I was a little bit ago. I found some Jazzercise VHS tapes. I don't know if I'm going to get to it today, but you better bet that I am going to pop one of those babies in and do some Jazzercise one day because I am, they're from the 80s. It just, I'm so excited. Um, it is now 9.26. I am going to do my daily meditation for like 10 minutes or so and I'm not going to film that because it would just be you watching me breathe with my eyes closed which is a little creepy. It's 9.40 now, I am done meditating and I am going to do some dishes. It's dark, I'm going to put the light on here. I'm going to do some dishes that I have left over from last night. Not too many but I just want to get them out of the way and then we'll make some breakfast. Okay, I got chili again, so my coat is back on. Uh, I have a little breakfast set up at the counter. I made myself a nice big pot of green tea, and I have a cup for it. And for breakfast this morning, I'm gonna have some of my favorite non-dairy yogurt on the planet, and that's Kalina yogurt. This is the only flavor that I've yet to try. It's strawberry yogurt. Strawberry, it's strawberry rose. Um, I sound like a dog, you know, when they like howl and they go like, oh, that's what, yeah. Uh, so I haven't tried the strawberry rose flavor yet, and I'm, <laughs> I can't even mumbling everything. Uh, I haven't tried the strawberry rose flavor yet, but I am very excited to. And we'll, we'll do a little taste test. Why not? And I'm also having a Brazil nut because I have one a day. Another thing I really love about this yogurt is that they come in little reusable glass containers. So I always save them and once I have my own place and I'm not in a dorm or loitering here and I can cook bigger things, I can, you know, batch make jams and keep them in here or use them as storage for a lot of other things. So I just, I just think it's very cool that they use reusable containers and it makes me happy and they taste incredible. They're my favorite yogurts ever.
So without further ado, I'm gonna give it a taste test. I always mix up my yogurt, no matter what kind of yogurt it is. I'm excited. Okay, here we go. Yes. Yes. Ooh, I can really taste the rose now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can actually taste the rose more than the strawberry. But I like it. What's up? Um, it is 10.52, I can read. And I had my breakfast. I watched a little Netflix. I sent out some emails that I needed to send out. And my classes for school are officially going online next week, I believe. Trying to read a good amount of plays while I'm out here. I didn't bring nearly enough. Um, but there's like other movies and musicals that I want to watch too if I have time. But I finished reading my first play yesterday and I'm still trying to finish um, Angels in America Part 2. Is it Perestroika? I cannot say it correctly and I know I probably just butchered that but I love this play so so much. So I'm kind of slow to finish it because I don't want it to be over. But I'm going to read as much of this right now as I can and potentially finish it. We will see. But this is the next part of the agenda for the day. It's 11.53. I have finished Angels in America, part two. Perestroika. <laughs> God damn, this was a good fucking play. I... Mm. Mm. I just... I literally can't think of anything else to say. I just, I think it's probably one of my favorite plays that I've ever read. One of, obviously, there are more than just that one, but that's definitely up there. I am going to take out the trash outside to like the big trash cans. My grandparents left some like eggs and oat milk in this fridge that went bad in January. Doesn't smell great and I, I wanna, I didn't wanna throw them out in the kitchen because then it would make the house smell bad so I'm gonna put them in the trash can outside. Put a coat on because it is a little chilly outside. I still have my big garb under this too so I look a little silly but it's fine. I have a grocery bag like a ripped grocery bag full of all of the stuff that's gone bad in the fridge that I'm gonna carry to the trash can and then I'm gonna come back for these really old Nut milks. I'm also starting to get a little hungry. I had a tiny tiny piece of dark chocolate that was in the fridge and it just did not It did not do much for me. It didn't it left a weird taste and I feel like I might need to have lunch within the next like Hour to get rid of it Yeah, okay. It's a little chilly. I forget that that beachy air Adds a little bit of bite <laughs> to the air. Those cobwebs? I'm gonna show you in a second. I think those are cobwebs, but there is a little bit of sun, which is kind of nice. So I'm just kind of taking a walk in the backyard right now, chilling with my little elephant statue. Um, I really want to go investigate if those are cobwebs or not on those plants. Do you see that? They kind of look like cobwebs. This is my elephant friend, by the way. Let's just run over there and see if those are cobwebs because I'm really, really curious now. Off on an adventure. The soil here is really weird. <laughs> There's like a lot going on with it right now. Are they cobwebs? Or is it plastic? I think it's plastic. What the fuck? That can't be good for the plants or the environment. Why is there plastic on the plants? One big step for man. It's been done. All these little green things always remind me of SpongeBob SquarePants for some reason. I don't know why. They kind of look like barnacles or something. We're standing on rocks. My hands are getting cold. <sighs> but I'm enjoying the outside before the rain comes tomorrow. Wee! Outdoors. Okay. All these sad sage plants and stuff. Dying. Spring is coming, friends. I promise. I used to like to grab onto these and swing off of it when I was little but um I have a feeling that I'm too heavy to do that now and also it's very rusted and that cannot be good for my hands so, so this is where I threw away the trash 
in case we're wondering. Alrighty, after our very, very brief, ah, hello. After our very, very brief excursion outside, I got cold <laughs> and I'm back inside. Um, but I really enjoyed the fresh air. That was nice. I now have a reheated cup of my green tea from breakfast and I'm gonna get some writing done. Nothing school-based, just making sure I don't forget how to have an imagination. So <laughs> I'm gonna do some writing for a little bit and then I'll probably see you again at lunchtime. I don't know why it took me 25 years to say that, but it did. I will see you at lunchtime. Lunch. It's too hot to put on the table. That's why this is here. I've got some leftover Spanish beans and rice with butternut squash soup in it because I, I, I'm a chef <laughs> um, that I had for dinner last night. And I added a tiny dollop of Kite Hill cream cheese. That's just because it's really good. And I'm going to stir it all in and then enjoy this for lunch. These, these work really good as leftovers. Damn. Ooh, I've been really chefing it up quarantining here. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to gain so much weight. <laughs> it's 2.30. I had lunch. I'm still very full. I definitely fucked around and watched a bunch of Netflix for a little bit. Uh, and I'm now going to go upstairs and practice some piano. There's a piano. And we're going to play it. What is up? It is 3.50 now. Obviously I did this. Things that I did not film that I did do. I went downstairs and I cleaned the Tupperware I had my lunch out of. I flossed my teeth because there was something really stuck here that was hurting me. I changed into a sports bra. You'll see why in a second. Filled my water bottle, sang a little bit, and that's pretty much it. And now I'm going to do a cheeky little workout because I've been sitting a lot today and I feel like I need to get my body moving or I'm going to get stiff and die. I would film a little bit of my workout for you, but my camera is going to die, so I'm going to charge the battery while I work out instead of film me jumping around because you probably like you don't need to see that. Also, can we talk about this? It's just been like getting worse and worse all day and I'm really not here for it. I Sup, it's 5 p.m. I did my workout. I was a lot sweatier and redder and I changed back into my comfy shirt and I put my hair up again because it was all sweaty and gross. My arms are sore now. <laughs> I'm, my body's tired. So I think I'm, what I'm gonna do now is head back to the office and then take this energy and either like FaceTime a friend or sing a little more if I feel like it or maybe we'll just be lazy and I'll play a game on the computer. <laughs> All right, we're back in the office and as a surprise to no one, I decided I wanted to play a game on my computer. So we are going to play some Nancy Drew. Whenever I'm in Massachusetts, I uh, take advantage of my grandparents' old PC computer because obviously I don't have a PC, I have a Mac. Um, so I can't play like really old Nancy Drew games to download on my laptop. So I take advantage and I play all the old ones that I can. I say that as if I play a bunch. I usually play one every time I'm here. Who knows how long I'm going to be quarantined here. So it might end up being a few this trip. Okay, it's about 5.52. So I'm going to get started on my food experiment thing. I can't find a peeler. So I'm going to attempt to take the skin off this potato with a knife. So that's my life right now. Okay, I know what I just said, but can you even use like carrot peelers on potatoes or do you usually have to use knives? I'm, ju I'm just having this dilemma where I'm like, what do people usually peel potatoes with? I fucking hate peeling potatoes, which is why I don't know. Um, but I'm proud of her. I did a good job. I don't know why I smelled it. It smells like a potato. All right, this is turning out to be a whole ass project. I just finished squeezing all the water out of this 
tofu with a cheesecloth, and I managed to actually find a cheesecloth, so what do you know? Um, in case you, I didn't tell you, I definitely did not tell you, I am attempting to make vegan unagi, which is eel, which it's not actually going to taste like eel, but it's just going to be like a yummy potato tofu thing with a sauce. Okay, so I've made um, a little bit of, it said you could use kombu dashi or water. So what I have here is I had some boiling water and I put some kombu in it so I can have like a kombu water. Um, and I'm going to put, I'm going to start making my sauce. So I'll show you guys that. I'm going to put two, it says two to three tablespoons of the kombu or the water. So I'm going to do three because I went to the effort of making kombu water. Here goes my third tablespoon of soy sauce. Then we need a fourth cup of mirin. And then one tablespoon of maple syrup. All right, now in here I have tofu, and it's supposed to be just one small potato. I think my potato might be too big. Anyways, we also have some salt, pepper, cornstarch, and some sesame oil. So I'm stupid, and while this is supposed to be getting hot for 10 minutes, it's been on the this pan, which is completely not warm at all, while well, this one's been warm. So we love that. So that's going to have to take another 10 minutes. Here are my unagis. Um, we have to keep them cooking until they're brown. I'm letting this sit untouched because it does things when I touch it. Look. Like, it's magic. Okay, I'm going to stop messing with it, but I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> okay, so the nori's shriveled up, like, so much. Uh, so this isn't going to have anything to stick to. So the flip did not go well. Uh, this nori sheet twisted itself. This one kind of stayed together, but it, like, doesn't have form anymore. But it is slightly browned, so <laughs> we're, we're going to keep going. We're still going to eat it, even if it doesn't look like unagi. Gently, gently spooning. Boop, boop. There she is! I had a little bite of the tofu. It's so good. It's a little salty, obviously, because of the soy sauce, but I'm so happy. I might even put a little bit more unagi sauce on top. Surprisingly, adding extra unagi sauce made the, like, saltiness of what, whatever was in the tofu and stuff go away because the sauce was so good. Um, I am going to take this upstairs and potentially put a movie on or maybe, like, rent a musical or something. We will see. Mm. This is my decision of musical tonight because I've never seen it and I've always wanted to. This is so good. Musicals are like two hours long, so mine is still going right now. Uh, I think I only have like 30 minutes left of it or something. It's very good. I'm enjoying it a lot. So I'm currently downstairs, back in the kitchen, making some tea because I have tea every night before I go to bed. So I'm making my tea, heating up my hot water. I've got a lot of dishes that I have to get done tomorrow, but that's okay because it'll give me something to do do um I mean I have other stuff that I need to do tomorrow I'm also gonna bake tomorrow but I'm gonna make, do my dishes before I bake obviously because I can't work in a semi-messy workspace at all this is the tea that I'm gonna have by the way in case you care at all uh since I had rose with my breakfast this morning I decided I would have rose with my tea tonight starting on the day with a rose it's kind of cute uh, this is the puka love tea I just grabbed a bunch of teas that I wanted to try when I was at the grocery store before I camped out here because they the tea sh there are no teas here, which sucks. So I got a few teas. This one is rose, chamomile, and lavender, which sounds very good right now. I also got a sleepy time tea that they make, a mint tea, some Earl Grey green tea, peach oolong, and Bengal spice. Isn't that fancy? Also, this little shit gets worse every single hour. I I I can guarantee that you can track the progression of that pimple getting worse throughout the day on camera. Why? But I, what did I deserve this? I just, I just want to know. I just want to know. Alrighty, friends. It is... It's like 10.30 something. Uh, I'm sleepy. <laughs> so I'm going to wash my face, brush my teeth, and then chill out on my phone for a little bit and then go to bed. That's it. That's it for today, I think. Thanks for keeping me company on my uh, still no school quarantine day. I'm going to try and film a baking video tomorrow. And then I'll be in online school for the rest of my quarantine. And who knows how much longer I'm going to be in quarantine in this house. It could be another two weeks. It could be another four weeks. It could be 
five, it could be six, it could be one. You could... Nothing is certain right now, but that's okay because neither is life itself. Uh, hopefully next time I see you, this little shit goes away. I uh, wasn't expecting her to come out to play so violently by the end of today. Didn't even know that I had her when I woke up this morning, but you know, she's also a part of my life now along with this quarantine. I will see you in another video. I'm gonna try and be better about making videos and stuff. Uh, that's it for me. I know, I'm, I'm sorry nothing more exciting happened today, but again, it's self-quarantine and out, like what? What else do you expect me to do? I will see you in my next video or whatever, in the street. Who who knows? Next quarantine. <laughs> okay, bye.